Well, um, we're going to talk a little bit today about about Vitru, where we came from, what the great idea was, and where we were. Um, but Vitru was founded in 2011 um, with the idea um, really about, uh, hey, I'm connected, just in case you're curious, um, really with the great idea. What does a great idea mean? How does it work? How does it happen? It was the epiphany of saying, hey, I think the, uh, the way that businesses and individuals connect is broken. Uh, we base our job descriptions on on, uh, on feel-good ideas and how they need to in, in, uh, integrate into the environment. They need to understand what the technical skills are there, but we really don't get any deeper than that. And vice versa, how many, how many people in the world would love to know where else they could go do great work without becoming an applicant somewhere? Dumped into an applicant tracking system to maybe be parsed out and maybe someday meet somebody real. So we said, wow, that's, this just is, Somewhere along the line, people became applicants, but applicants never became people again. So that was our grand vision. And that started out um, with, with that great idea of how in the world that happens. And so as Danny said in our introduction today, that was, that was our plan. Our plan started with saying, okay, we're going to develop an online strategy, a platform that totally redesigns the way that that happens. And so this is us. This was Nick Bartlett, my safe, myself, April Kelly, um, and Jason Mullenhoff, and we used a development team uh, to get us there. And here was our goal. This was exactly how we were going to do it. We were, we were going to start. We started in uh, November of 2011, and we were going to say, I'm telling you, that's, that's what it is. But that's reality right there. That's what happened. And so the reality of building a platform to change the world in a dual-sided marketplace, if you ever, ever read about it, what do they always tell us? Anybody ever tried to start a dual-sided marketplace here? Nobody has. That's smart. <laughs> That's smart. So obviously this whole entire room is smarter than me and our group. But starting, starting a, a, a dual-sided marketplace proved very important to us. We needed to have talent there, individuals creating portfolios, um, understanding the science of what that talent fit looked like. And then we needed businesses to actually use the platform to go out and send invitation requests to their team members and understand what that, what that fit was in their, in their world. And then, we, then our algorithm matched those two. So we launched uh, our alpha product, our beta, excuse me, in March of this last year. So March, April, May, June, we listened to our customers. We watched them. It was a handful, about a dozen customers that were using it. And we launched our, our platform to the world uh, the first week, in, uh, first week in June. And what we found out by listening in, to our customers and understanding, it was something amazing. While culture fit was important, while understanding how to get the right people in the environment was important, what we really found out was is that, holy cow, businesses all over the world, organizations all over the world, freelancers around the world, build teams. Build teams around projects, build teams around customers, build teams around goals. So this idea of team building wasn't just uh, a little piece of our puzzle. In order for Vitru to work, you had to send requests. We have two assessments that are built. One's a work value assessment, one's a big five personality trait. And those results come back in dynamically and in real time can tell you what the makeup is of that team. And then what we did is that would power our job matching platform. So instead of it being the idea of, oh, this is my mission, this is my culture, it's really the people in your environment that power that. Well, when we built that in the beginning, we thought that was just a little part, but it was an important part. And what we did by listening to the customers is found out, holy cow, Ryan, if this is all that Vitru ever is, and you could do this, this is the most important thing. This is what we use. So we started out, and we built and listened to our customer. So that led us to version two. Those of you that have been to our website, govitru.com, shows us we're reinventing the way that we match businesses, just as that was a perfect introduction. Version two will launch in two weeks. We started July 30th, building version two. We've been head down, understanding and redefining the way that teams are built. 
Teams are built dynamically, they're built on real time. And here's what you're gonna see. What's really cool is that an individual wants to know a little bit about themselves. Why do I fit here? What is what? So right here you'll see that on a solo account, a solo user, these are my values. Not, not like a Gallup strength finder, these are my strengths. These are really what I value in a workplace. And then they also allow you to say, okay, well, what are my personality styles? What's my traits? How do I interact with people? Well, that's really neat as a solo person. Well, we also built out this next idea of, okay, this is a team builder. So let's say I'm a freelancer and I have 10 people that I work with all, all the time. I'd really like to know what they are. Or Dusty, let's say Dusty at Flywheel have five or six team members on staff, maybe 10. I'm gonna send those requests out and there they come right back in. They upload their own image. They upload where they are in the world, their, their, um, their whole profile. And then what all we do is we just select them, drag them into a team, create a team, create a location, and we find out what's so unique about that place. What's unique about that project. Why they were successful, how they fit so well. Then, not only do we have the team builder, we have that culture tool to say, okay, the team culture, what makes up the culture of this team? What makes up the culture of our location? What makes up our global culture? So that's what we're launching with um, in, in, uh, in two weeks. And we're really excited to, to tell you that. Now here's what's interesting. You guys always say, well, how, do you, how does this thing make money? What's it do? Our old model was about matching people. What we say today is, if you have a team that's 10 and under, use the platform, it's totally free. Build it, go find teams, your organization. Now that's what's really neat. We thought company tools like this were meant for big companies. Okay, you'd have to go out and you'd have to buy, buy one assessment, buy one tool at $99, or buy a, buy a piece to find out. But then the, the weird thing is, is once I got those results, I'd look at them and say, well, this is kind of neat. Put a three ring binder, put it in a folder, and go back on my desk. It never lived, it never was part of my life. What we do is if you have a team of up to 100 team members, it lives on your platform. It lives daily for $100 a month. It's basically $1 a team member, $1 a person. And it, we, can, we can go all the way up to uh, businesses with over, uh, with over 500, up to 500 team members or employees. Multiple locations, multiple uh, teams. So um, I know you told me I have one minute, but I'll, I'll finish with this. Um, you'll ask us today, what can you do? What can you do to help us? I guess I'd, I'd, I'd say this, how many of you have ever worked with an environment, worked on a project, worked on a team and go, man, that, made, that, that was an amazing experience. How many of you guys have ever done that? But the fun part is, is we can't go back and we can't put our thumb on it. Wonder why that was a great experience. What made up that team? Was it a combination of their skills, their knowledge, their abilities? Yep, probably that. But it was also probably how well you communicated, how well you understood each other, and how well you were in alignment with the values going forward. So um, our challenge and our ask to you is, is to go build a team. Start building teams. Understand what it looks like and, and how dynamically it can, can really change, change the way that you look, at, you look at what you built. So I'll be done. Thank you. Thank you.